Hello my friends, welcome back to another fantastically recorded and beautifully edited video for my YouTube channel called Dev Tips. Today we're going to be looking at the awesome, awesome, awesome community contributions that we call pull requests here on github.com. When you guys make awesome pull requests and contributions to our code base, I'm going to you know, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about your hard work. You, the things that you're doing is are completely awesome and super helpful. And and like you know, you deserve the recognition. So we're going to go through some of the pull requests that are available for me to pull in, and um, and then talk about them and kind of talk about who who did them. So without further ado, let's take a look at who already offered pull requests. Here's some credits for the people who are doing a lot of pull requests already. These guys and girls have. Um, already offered so much to the code base and some of them then that you'll see tonight are actually repeats these these people love to love to help thank you so much to you and let's take a look at what we got all right so the first one utilizing markdown for the work project files instead of raw html increase ease of use and utilize power of jekyll let's see what they're talking about oh what he's talking about is he went into these um, the work folder here, and each of these I wrote in like HTML. But um, our friend, our friend Brian, um, uh, transferred all of the uh, the HTML into Markdown, so it's a little bit easier to write and to manage, especially for people who don't want to fiddle with all the HTML tags. So um, I really like that. I think that's a fantastic addition. I'm gonna pull it in right now. So I'm gonna go to the conversation tab and say uh, merge, merge, all right, yeah. Awesome, pulling, pulling, hashtag. <laughs> I'll put hashtag, hashtag pulling. <laughs> There's another one by D. Roberto. D. Roberto's name is D. Roberto. And D. Roberto says, blah, 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 blah. Instead of going to um, the absolute paths, like hard coded to the root of the project, he wants to do relative paths. Now, this will be a good idea if your artist theme is not the root of your server, right? A root of your site. It's just the root of, like, your artist theme is, um, you know, in your like slash artist theme or, or whatever. So this this kind of helps out, helps it to be a little bit more universal when you put stick this on a server somewhere. I really like that. Can't pull it though right now. Need to need to he needs to resolve some conflicts. So what happened is he made this pull request and then I update it with a client section and then something is conflicting with our, our files. And so I'll ask him to update his files and pull in the most recent so we can so we can update this. Can you update what, uh, to the project head and manage any conflicts unresolve? I'd love to pull it in. Let's see, adds meta tags. What does this do? Oh yes, it adds meta tags. Okay, so uh, Brian would just added some meta tags. I'll buy that. That's cool. Let's do that. This next one is using the Translate 3D uh, CSS instead of using left, which is um, faster and smoother on because it's hardware accelerated. So um, I am ready to pull this in. I'm going to say pull. Awesome. Pulled. And that thank you goes out to Anders. Anders, you're awesome. Thanks for that 3D transition. Tiny fix. Um, this is by George. George. <laughs> uh, George uh, centered 
the background cover, background size and position, which sounds fine. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. Let's pull that one in. Thanks, George. Okay, prepend the underscore to the clients.sass. Great, great. And it looks like he, he did it to a few of them. He added an exclude of the design. That's cool. So that PSD doesn't get um, put into the work section or the, 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 un, the underscore site directory. Oh, he renamed all of these files. That's cool. Yeah, this is good. So in SAS, if you put an underscore before the file name, like underscore clients is what he renamed it to, it won't um, compile itself and create a clients.css. But but I didn't have it underscored, so it was also it was being included, but also creating um, a, a a clients.css, which is just messy. So I like that, and if I can, I will pull it in. I'm gonna pull it in. Great changes. Thanks for the poll. Oh, this one's fun. Um, for our face in the client unit there, instead of using an image and um, and uh, like nothing, he, he uses a figure. This is he who, who's, who's contributing here. Eric. Eric is using um, uh, HTML5 tag names, figure, and fig capture to, or sorry, fig caption to, uh, to do those things. And I'm cool with that. That sounds fun. So let's do that. Thanks. Uh, oh, can't pull it in. We need, to, we need to do some conflict management. That's probably because I was messing with the clients in the last video. So, But I will pull it in as soon as you get it sorted out, Eric. That's a good change, and I want to do it. This next one is is like I gotta like take a moment for this right here. Now Jekyll recently updated itself. If you look at my Jekyll right here, let me turn this off and I'll say Jekyll dash V. I'm running version 2.2. Now Jekyll has updated itself to 2.3.0. 2.3.0 so exciting it adds in back the functionality that it took out in 2.2 and that was like i pulled out all my hair you see it's all gone that was that was so frustrating but they added it back because uh, me and well i'm not going to take credit for it but i was involved with a bunch of other people on uh, github in the discussion talking about it and saying you know what we're going to use it for and why it was frustrating that it was removed the the maintainer of of Jekyll put it back in as a response to these things, and he even uh, at mentioned uh, dev tips to kind of like let us know that it's working now. And Ricardo, who was a guest on one of our previous epi episodes, submits a pull request wherein our variables are kind of back into the settings the settings file. That's really exciting to me. I was super bummed out and frustrated when they changed it. But now they're changing it back, so I'm really super excited and happy. All right, let's see if this will work out. Merge pull request. Thanks, Ricardo. You are the man. And then what else do we have here? Okay. <laughs> this, this. This, 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 this. Okay, you guys remember Custodian, right? Custodian has done a lot of work already. He's already kind of a contributor. Uh, he's already a, like a known contributor on this repo. He's in Russia. I was talking to him a little bit. I asked him to come on the, the channel like, like um, Ricardo and a few others have done already, but he said he couldn't because um, the time difference and he's quite busy and a few other things. But um, he... Uh, well, I'll just show it to you. So all the red is the JavaScript that I wrote, and all the green is the JavaScript that he rewrote. So you'll notice that he kind of rewrote everything in my JavaScript file. Look at all this red. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, that's it for the poll request this week. Um, thank you everybody so much for contributing. Thank you so much for being awesome and just kind of like making up for my general like suckiness in coding. And uh, this is good. I, I really appreciate the, the stuff here. I know the rest of the community is benefiting from your hard work and, um, and we'll see you next time. Keep on hacking. Bye.